Hello YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my PTMG analysis on a possibly huge hidden gem, Crypto Insight. I'm excited to bring you this coin because I want to get your input and feedback about the positive and negatives of this coin. Also, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button right here. So what is PTMG? It's the problems they solve, the project idea, the potential for generating revenue, one of the most important parts of the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long-term goals of the project, and then I'm gonna wrap it up with a summary. So what problems is Crypto Insight trying to solve? They're pretty much a blockfolio with additional features. They give us an app and a desktop client to track the cryptocurrency market. They wanna give us a place that predicts cryptocurrencies by using historical data models and apply machine learning to obtain prediction models for cryptocurrencies and portfolios. Also, allow users to set up watchers to alert on various cryptocurrencies based on the user's criteria. That part is exactly like Blockfolio. Now, Crypto Insights Project Idea. It is a platform that offers an all-in-one interface to view and manage your portfolio, along with many other features, such as analytics and insights to your portfolio, price prediction through machine learning, alerts, social trading, basically trading your portfolios for uh, a fee, news from the app, which can be filtered, and then the key features, which I have listed right there. Again, so if you take away the additional features, it's super similar to Blockfolio, but adding these additional features should be something that makes them stick out and should be awesome. I, I mean, I'm excited just because I'm tired of using Blockfolio. <laughs> I, I don't like that app, but it's pretty much the only one that people use. Now we have uh, their mobile app and the desktop client here. They look beautiful, easy to navigate. The mobile app, as you can see, this one's actually already out and you can download on the app store. It works pretty good. There are some things that aren't exactly user friendly, but the best thing about them, you can go and talk to them and get suggestions for features or suggestions on possible fixes or items that need to be fixed. Their desktop client is not out yet. Now for the potential for generating revenue. The TKR token is used to purchase, advertise, and trade with other users on the platform. Users can pay a monthly fee as a type of premium subscription where they get advanced features. Users can then share their portfolio and then the requesting user can see their portfolio for a price specified by the user. This is conducted by a smart contract with a fee between 1-5% to and the remainder is sent to the owner. Users can promote cryptocurrency news as it's displayed in the news section. This news goes through an approval process after which non-subscribers can see it in their news section. The promotion costs TKR tokens and subscribed users can lower their subscription by allowing the promoted news to be displayed to them. Then tokens may be burned at a percentage over time. I actually have a quote from the team giving me an example because I basically asked, how are you guys going to stay in business? How are you getting money? Cause that's a big thing to me. I don't want them to just make this, get the money from the ICO, which they did and then leave. So they said, they gave me the example, things such as social trading may have a 5% fee. A new submission may charge X, Y amount of TKR. Then every quarter they will airdrop a decent percentage of the TKR back to the holders and sell the rest at a competitive market price at the time. They thought of burning a small percentage too, but they're not sure yet. That's why I said they may be burned. They're still trying to decide that. So now their team, their team is super small, very similar to Chainlink, and they also plan on adding one person. So Nabel, who is a co-founder, got his star because he has three years of experience at CloudReach. And then Walid, who's also a co-founder, has three years of experience at Morgan Stanley. So as I said, they're kind of like Chainlink in the way they only have two people, which I'm not a fan of small teams, but they do have some kind of significant experience and they are hiring one more person, which I did get confirmation from their team. So hopefully they're able to hire someone with some decent experience. And now for their advisors, we have some good news here. Some superstar advisors, just like Chainlink had. First, we have Steve Adamson, who was vice president at Morgan Stanley for four and a half years. Definitely a superstar experience there. Then we have Christopher Drew, who worked at Morgan Stanley for three years as security engineer and now works at Expedia as a security engineer. So I gave him star experience there. And then last we have Ryan. His superstar experience comes from working at Kodak for 21 years as operations manager. 
Now for their marketing. We have Twitter, which they're active with announcements, updates, and then questions or polls from the community. As you can see, they've had they've been fairly active. They they posted when they got on hit BTC. They have a poll here somewhere, right here. And then they're just giving us updates of how they're doing developer updates. It's good to see that they're at least semi-active on Twitter. Then we have Discord. This is where they're super active and you can speak with the team and the community also responds quickly. This is probably the best part and one of the best I've seen from any team. They're just super easy to get a hold of, super easy to get feedback, super easy to just get any question answered. That is awesome. Next we have their Medium. They do have an active Medium with developer updates. Then their Facebook is also active with announcements and updates and then Telegram. So even though they did have that poll, they decided not to do a Telegram. They said they prefer Discord for security reasons and it's much more organized. Now their competition, the two competitors I found for Crypto Insights were Blockfolio and Coindesk. Everyone knows Blockfolio. I'm sure most of us use this on their phone to track our coins, but it's super basic and there's no desktop client. Coindash, they have no product yet. If you go to their website, they just show video presentations on the desktop client. Also, side note, for Coindash, for their ICO, a hacker stole over $10.3 million. Supposedly, they altered their Ethereum address and lost a bunch of money. Now for their market cap. This is where I believe the gem comes in. They're currently sitting at $1.2 million. Currently around $0.09 cents or 1,700 sats. I put 0 0.00033 ether because you have to buy it with Ethereum. The all-time high was around 15 cents or 3,700 sats, about 1.8 million market cap on October 5th. They have 12.5 million circulating supply. That's it. Total supply is pretty much the same. The volume last 24 hours is only 50,000. So that's kind of low, but this is just because the coin is so unknown and it's stuck on hit BTC and Ether Delta. Once they get on a better exchange, the volume could easily shoot up and i did ask the team about that they said they have emailed several other exchanges and they're just waiting for a response back so super exciting and huge potential here now their short slash long-term goals first phase of 2017 or what they have left to accomplish they have to implement subscription-based services along with adding one more person a ui slash ux designer then the second phase of 2017 they're going to release the desktop client they said all the attention is moved to this right now then they're going to replicate basic features from the mobile app to the desktop phase three of 2017 they're going to also they're going to add smart analysis of altcoin trends based on media exposure then they're going to sync their mobile app to their desktop client then implement automatic tracking of altcoins then we move to 2018, they're gonna have investment predictions based on historical analysis and machine learning, then automatic wallet tracking for altcoins, then arbitrary opportunities. So fairly detailed. Super nice to see that they launched their mobile app already and are able to concentrate on their desktop app. I'm super excited for the way to finally track on my desktop instead of just having to go on my phone with Blockfolio. I honestly don't like Blockfolio that much. It seems super basic and just lame <laughs> so is crypto inside a hidden gem i am certainly putting some confidence that this team can bring us some value right now i'm stuck with blockfolio which is super limited and doesn't even have a desktop client coin dash seems to be super similar to blockfolio but crypto insight does the same thing with many other additional features and they plan to launch their own desktop client soon, which I will be personally using daily. Once they're able to get on other exchanges, this coin could really move up. I mean, 1.3 million market cap. Come on now, that's nothing. Hitting 10 million market cap could be around nine times return. I wanna make this clear though, I am not pushing a pump and dump. Just doing my analysis on a coin that has super low market cap and could really gain significant value. Remember, do your research and invest wisely. I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you think Crypto Insight could be the next hidden gem, one that gets to 10 million market cap or even 20 million market cap, the same as Coindash. Remember to click that like and subscribe button right here. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.